Hi, I'm Andrew Berman from the Mortgage News Network here in beautiful Hilton Head, South Carolina. Joining me is John Tallinger, who is the uh, Vice President over at Class Appraisals. John, thank you for sitting down and meeting with us. Thank you for having us. Very, very excited to be here. Uh, I'm, I'm from Michigan, so uh, no, it's, not, it's not very difficult to get me uh, into a sunny environment this time of year. If golf's involved uh, you know, and some sun, no problem getting away. So. Beautiful. So, well, how are you liking it here? How do you, how do you like Hilton Head so far in the conference? It's it's been great. Um, so, I, I attend pretty much all the you know the the national shows. So, the Vegas show was great. Um, but the, the downside of that is everyone's kind of stuck in the you know the, the same casino the whole time. Here in Hilton Head, um, they've incorporated some things. The golf outing was great. Um, there's there's some events that are going on outside here. Um, there's a very, very nice, loose, laid-back atmosphere. Um, the group is, you guys have done an amazing job, uh, NMP, or I'm sorry, uh, uh, NAMB, putting this on. Um, and it's been, you know, really, it's, it's been a great show. Everyone is uh, very, I don't know if it's the, the weather or rates being good, but everyone, everyone's been very glass half full. So it's been, uh, it's been, it's been a fun, fun time and a good group so far. All right, so listen, I'm going to kill all the positive stuff and get down to some ugly topics right away. Okay. Um, so listen, most AMCs are facing what they call a uh, manpower crisis, you know, where basically you just have a shrinking population um, and more demand. How come class appraisal hasn't been accepted? Because it, it seems like you guys just seem to be growing. The All the top wholesalers are doing business with you. Why are you not a, in, impacted by this? Um, so, uh, ironically, when we started the company in 2009, uh, I, I'm an appraiser. I, I was appraising for you know seven, eight years before I got got over to class appraisal, and I dealt with a lot of different AMCs. And uh, there was some that I really liked working with for certain reasons. They paid me well. They they paid me on time. Um, they, they kept me to a close you know uh, close proximity. Um, when we built class appraisal, we've we've tried to build it to be very, very appraiser friendly. Not, not only client friendly, of course, you know, you're going to build great relationships with your clients, but we've, we've built a culture internally with our team that, that, that they, they love working there. And the appraisers that we work with, we treat them like business partners and we offer them things that, that other AMCs, frankly, just don't do. Um, our preferred panel appraisers, who's you know our, our highest tier of appraisers, um, you know the preferred method of payment for us is is ACH. We want to pay those appraisers directly. So I think I would say common uh, payment terms in the industry is probably you know you do the appraisal, you get paid within 30 days. For 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 us, uh, you know we do 24 hour quick pay. So so I mean that means we you know yeah so 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 uh, you know we, we quality control the appraisal. We say it's good to go. We deliver it to the client. Within, within 24 hours, that appraiser gets paid, which is, um, you know, so you think about it, if you, in, in the daily life of an appraiser, uh, you know, you're going to prioritize the different AMCs, uh, you know, you get five new orders in a day, class appraisal, we've done everything possible to be at the top of that list, because we treat the appraisers well, we pay them well, we pay them on time, we give them good volume, um, and then we support them. They're, they're, they're a little bit, they're out on their own island, sometimes they need some support, they need some answers to some difficult questions, we're there for them. So uh, because of that, you know, we get faster, you know, good relationships with the appraisers, they prioritize our work, that turns into faster turn times, that turns into happy clients who can close more loans faster. Awesome, fantastic. So let me ask you, I mean, you're in Michigan, you're based in Michigan, um, we have actually some of, some of the uh, top mortgage technology coming out of Michigan. I don't know how that happened, but it, it just, uh, it's amazing how, um, you know, uh, Michigan has become just this hotbed of activity uh, for mortgage technology. Um, many of it is empowering mortgage professionals out there, but I, I, I got to talk about this. Um, some feel it, that, that there is a fear that the apps are going to take over the independent mortgage professional. Um, you talk a little bit about that, about how that will maybe happen or maybe never happen. Uh, some very smart people in the industry that have been here uh, long before me, uh, the best advice they've ever given me is invest in technology. Yeah, that's all you can do. You know, you're doing well, invest in technology, be cutting edge in terms of everything that you're doing. Uh, so yes, we do. You're right. We have, we have, we have Quicken Loans. We have United Wholesale. We have Flagstar right in our backyard. Yep. Three of the top lenders in the industry, and all three of them are doing some amazing things on the technology front. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, we certainly embrace that. You know, yep. for us, we're, we're, we're a very technology-heavy company. Um, we're rolling out some some exciting new things this year that we're gonna we're gonna uh, be talking about down the road with uh, you know NMP. But uh, you know, it's yeah, we 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 embrace the technology. For us, you know, we, we have a, a system that's able to integrate with all the, all these lenders directly. Um, but some of the things that these lenders are doing are 
they're amazing. And, and trust me, there should be no fear about uh, it taking jobs away or anything like that. All it's doing is it's, 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 it's removing the barriers to getting the loan closed. And in the, at the end of the day, hopefully it's going to give the borrower a better product at a cheaper cost. So, so uh, cheaper, faster, right? That, that, that's what everyone's looking for. Beautiful. Thank you uh, again for sitting with us. And I'm Andrew Berman for the Mortgage News Network. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much. This is Mortgage News Network.